I can feel the summer is here. I went to the gym and there was a group of ladies doing like all kinds of exercises. They took all the cardio machines and were like, wait, like now I have to wait. Uh, I just wanted to have a chill morning, just do my routine and then I uh, do this filming for you. I'm showing you what I got uh, from Zara today together with some other new items in my wardrobe. I took really good time to reset on the weekend. My boys went to Dubai on Sunday, so I had almost half a day to myself where I archived some footage uh, from the beginning of the year or even like further away. Oh my god, when you have a family, you have just so many family pictures and videos. There is no really like proven way to organize them. I just probably just organize them by date and then I put them on a hard drive to just some, save some space on my cloud. Uh, so there'll be a bunch of videos uh, this week and maybe next week or over the weekend on what's new in my wardrobe, including some luxury unboxing. I think that was is my favorite, but this haul is going to be so awesome too. I hope you're going to love it too. I do my shopping online as I rarely find things that are suitable for me in this location. Uh, it just works better and I'm going to give you like explanation on how I do things, how I go back to like my archives to find my authentic style and I hope this will be helpful. I uh, will be grateful if you like uh, this video and uh, leave me a comment that will help algorithm to decide that my videos are good. Here's a glimpse on some amount of things that are incoming and outgoing. It's not just new stuff. Some of these are going uh, to be sold or already to shipped with Depop. If you're interested, check out the link. And um, I had some Miu Miu that I tried both of them and I'll show you in a bit what I kept. You probably saw my post on Instagram. There'll be some Zara. <laughs> One, two, three. I had some Isabel Moran, so uh, yeah, if you watch until the end of this video, I'll show you the unpacking. You guys probably noticed my change of speech. It's because I um, started with my Invisalign treatment and I found it here locally very close to me at the clinic that's called uh, Bella Medical or Bella Invisalign. And the experience is not completely new to me as I had braces and I had retainers afterwards but they just make it so streamlined and technology is just so amazing. I was placed a little bit of like dots on my teeth to help with the aligning process and now I'm on my retainer number three so it's been almost a month in and I already see so much improvement. I had just small misalignment with my frontal teeth and a little bit in the bottom so it's not a major change but I'm so happy I'm doing it. If you mentioned that uh, you are from Anastasia, if you live in the area as well, I'm sure they will uh, do a good deal for you. But honestly, it seems like it's expensive, but the technology that they have to do actually to see how your teeth are placed and then change it, it takes like so much, you know, like knowledge from the doctors and the process is like getting them scanned and sending all this to US where they manufacture these and then uh, the whole process. So, so far I'm really happy, but it definitely slightly affects the way you talk. I hope I'll learn it at some point and the boxes are really cute and convenient. So that's new. At the moment, I'm not gonna be wearing this for this video, just for aesthetics purposes. And for the makeup today, I want it to be very light. So I just used a little bit of concealer and uh, Laura Mercier. Uh, I used a hydrating primer and tinted moisturizer in bisque. I'll need to add a little bit of color for a complexion like mine. That's what you have to do. Maybe even no bronzer. This is Claran and uh, the brush was actually just from H&M. It is a bronzing brush. I'm trying to be quite minimal with the items I own. I want to define the brows a bit. I usually use a gel from Charlotte Tilbury, uh, but I want to finish this. It's Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Brow Filler. So I'll put a tiny bit. I can't actually see just some more definition in the gaps. And the main reason why I'm doing really light makeup is that I feel that my skin has improved so much since um, 
winter for sure. I think it's mostly due to the change on how I eat and, and how I apply like products. Sometimes I just don't apply any products now to make my skin breathe and you know heal itself. If you're gonna be interested in that, if you leave me a comment, I'll do that in my next video. I usually do a little bit of definition uh, on my eyelid as uh, it's not, it's slightly like over. So this is Chanel number 12, the one that Sophia Richie was using in her wedding. I really loved uh, that makeup. And you guys follow me for a really long time. Once a long, long time ago, I had makeup done by Chanel team for a photo shoot in Qatar and they used something similar for my makeup. So uh, I actually, they gave me the product, but it's no longer available. It used to be in a shaded form, like a small bronzer. It also was called contour, basically a shade that you could put anywhere, but the color is just so right. And whenever I was searching for a similar product in other brands, I just couldn't find anything similar. I usually do also define a lash line in this area. <laughs> this is a bit tricky, but I'll try to do it on the camera. This is uh, NARS brown, maybe it's a cockroach. I don't think it says which color is it, but we have a shop, we're lucky we have it in the mall where I usually go and I just uh, browse the brown section. I definitely need a bit more blending in this area. Okay, I like that. Uh, the reason why I prefer to do my shopping online is probably all of you know that it's so much better and so much easier to make selection of items that are just right for you because if you even have a, a shop near your location, they might not serve to your exact needs. Uh, so when I order, I usually get a couple of things locally, but not from the shop that is next to me. And then I have usually a lot of items coming from Spain or from Europe. I love Zara for that. So I'm gonna give you a brief overview of items that I loved. The inspiration for this wardrobe was uh, my archives. I happen to have a couple of items that I really like, but I figured that they don't go with what I tend to wear at the moment. Uh, so when I was just like archiving some of my photos, I found some outfits that I uh, was wearing in a summer like 10 years ago. And they were a bit more like boho-y uh, with a lot of blacks, with a lot of like khaki-ish. Uh, mustard colors, something like that. So recently when I started to wear more like minimalish-ish modern things, it was nice but it didn't really give me full like you know expression of uh, what I usually am. So my solution would be wearing things for the evening for like fancy events, uh, something modern that I like and something more boho-y, something more easy to wear for uh, daytime in the summer. This is something that I picked up from Revolve. I really love it. It's um, by uh, Free People. I thought uh, I could use uh, an item like that because, you know, where I live, it tends to be cold indoors. Another item that I had to cross-reference that it matches uh, most of the outfits was this uh, little bag by Loeva. I got it maybe two years ago and I did wear it, but I find that it doesn't always go with like very minimalist things. And uh, somebody suggested, this is kind of like boho -y. why don't you try that direction? It's like, oh, actually, that's such a good idea. It's just that, you know, recently in the shops, there were not too many options in that style. So what I'm gonna be showing you is gonna be a mix of both. Many of you ask me on Instagram regarding these shoes. I got them in size 38. They're also in this haul. I didn't wear Mary Jane uh, shoes for like never really. I thought they are like not my vibe, they're too dressy. I like happened to pick this up and this is so great. The leather is soft, so I've been wearing it twice already for the full day and it's really comfortable. So it has leather inside and outside, uh, even just to be chic while like working from home, I wear it so much. My recommendation is to just size up a bit if you're 
are shopping high street <laughs> things that i get they, oh they're always like more special they like luxury items that's the way i see them because i like those things i buy them but they are really not you know essentials so something like a little bit of extra other favorite item of mine in this haul was this french top and i already did uh one quick haul in ukrainian for my other channel and i styled it with a pair of white shorts and i think the idea was okay but that level of contrast is not really my thing maybe the shape of the shorts was not the right so i thought um it would go so much better with the denim that i'm gonna unpack in a bit the key item in this haul is this skirt. I actually quite like how they do shorts that are looking like skirts. They're elegant. A lot of them are cut in an asymmetrical way, which elongates legs always is so flattering on a female body. For the daytime, I'm styling it with the flats, with either chunky sandals or with the thin sandals from Mango and I'm gonna wear it with my Louis Vuitton and a plain tank top. <laughs> For the evening, the idea is to style it with a black shirt. And this one is black. It has a lorex thread throughout the garment. Uh, I got it in a size extra small. I think I could just do a bit bigger because I think it would be nice with a bit more volume. It has nice gold buttons, so if you want to make it extra, it worked quite well with the Dior saddle bag and like chunky like shoes. Or if I would wear it for the evening time, I would style it with my more minimal clutch and a pair of heels in either a like neutral color or you could also go for something more special and I think that the purple shoe actually works quite well in here. My next item is this shorts as well skirt. Uh, it comes as a set so I first tried it with this white and I wasn't really sure that it worked because um, the color is vanilla I think it suits me but um, maybe it doesn't suit me with the white it has this really small straps that are a little bit like designer touch and let me try it with the shoes so I love the shape of it but I guess it's just not the color that works for me but the shoes are incredible in this package there should be a top that belongs to this set and also a pair of sandals that i uh, had in mind to style with this capsule this is a real unboxing <laughs> for my first time in seeing these items all right here is the vest let me try to throw it on top of this outfit just to get an idea if it really could work for me hmm. It smells like leather, but I don't think it is leather. Maybe it's just a uh, whole leather that smells like it. This is so cute. And the belt is adjustable. I mean, how cute is that? Maybe I should allow uh, a bit bigger size in the shorts as I'm slightly a bit more rounded. Like I'm, I'm small in the waistline, but I'm quite curvy. And now at my bum area although i'm not like wide in the hips but it's just this curve and uh, maybe it just doesn't have enough fabric in this exact you know pair of shorts maybe another extra small would work but it's just sticking out in this area uh, it would make such a cute outfit with this bottega bag or my everyday straw tote it has a good balance between uh, being quite dressy and so easy to wear. This is what I like for summer outfits. So in the top, actually the color, uh, I really like the color, I think it works. So let me try it with this pair of jeans. These jeans are, I didn't see them before. Uh, the cut is, I guess it's a bit buggy. I wanted to style them uh, with a French top and uh, the color for them is really special. I did not see before. It's slightly bleached and it has a lot of beige in it. I'll move you here to show you more details on the color. It's really interesting. And I don't know why I got a 36. Maybe the 34 was not available or maybe it was saying that uh, they come small. On our website, sometimes they do. Uh, say how the sizing runs. But what do you honestly guys think about the set? 
Is this the color that I could wear or is it a little bit pale or it's a little bit washed out? I think when it's complete now, I don't mind it. Maybe when I paired it with white, it was slightly out of balance. There is something to it. The elements look really cute as well. I was afraid that uh, it would not have enough quality in the finishes, but actually everything is really nice. Mm -hmm. It is true they actually do come small, it's quite tight already, but the, the jeans usually give a go, especially the Zara ones, as they usually have a little bit of stretch in them. The rise is not too high, like medium mid-rise and it's not too long either the idea i love is how you now girls can style the jeans by like by turning them up or using like some style accessories like the oh yeah or some ladies use the pins to make them shorter on the back so in this way you don't have to have loads of jeans in your collection just one pair that you can wear with both heels and flats and who wears heels now anyway um, but the longer jeans look like more cool uh, these days so if it's too long you don't even have to cut it if you can use the pin and make them a bit shorter at the back at the front it usually just like falls on your feet which is fine and you don't ruin them this way i definitely didn't expect that but i think it could become one of my uniform pieces uh, for this uh, summer season as it ticks all the bells and i could wear it every day another angle for the jeans without the top i think turned up they actually look really cute too and it could be these shoes it could be other type of sandals uh simple flat stuff flip flops in leather it definitely could be this tote. There's something to beige denim. I used to own a pair of beige denim in my summer collection, but it's just something that I don't vibe with anymore. So I changed it to more classy denim, but I think there's something to it. I think I might consider actually keeping and using it as my everyday uniform. This is a Zara blazer from uh, my uh, previous year that I didn't actually wear through winter as it's linen-y and um, although I could wear it, I just didn't feel like it. I felt like wearing my blacks more and uh, now I finally got to it. I think it could, could be really cute. Just for everyday, like simple everyday uniform. No like brain <laughs> needed to use it. This is why I love Zara. Uh, every year you get, you know, updates and stay within the budget, so. This is why I think it's fine to shop High Street and Zara is like not as cheap as Shein and the other brands, I haven't even tried them. If you know what you're looking for, if you're gonna wear it for a long time, it's not like really wrong to buy from Zara, to shop from Zara because how would on earth I would find a pair of jeans that would deliver to me my location? <laughs> I could do like another like haul for like super designer denim and out of like five pairs like maybe keep one uh would it be more sustainable like the shipping cost uh, the taxes that are not refundable you know <laughs> this is my vibe at the moment and if you're a mom also you know that things have to be practical and if it's something really expensive and it could be easily ruined you don't want you don't want it and as i expected it works really well with this top much better than with the white shorts uh, that I was trying. And the point of an item like that is to make it special and more like occasion, a fit like without making it uncomfortable. This is why I picked this item because I think it would be so great with jeans and just with flats. I'm gonna pair it with my Attico clutch, my to-go clutch at the moment. And uh, if you don't have to wear extra special item that is uncomfortable, uh, very high heels and still look good, I think. Why wouldn't you do it? It's just a genius, right? Yeah, this is what I love about it. Very simple, you just put it on and uh, you look gorgeous. If something that like wor works for you for sure and it doesn't have to be a heel and it still look awesome. <laughs>
And in case I'll wear it with the heel, I'm gonna be in between these two pairs that have been my two go for the past season. These are so comfortable because they're like really wide and soft and they have a good grip. So I'm confident these would go with this. This would be a bit more special. Maybe I'll try both on my feet and to make this comparison a bit easier. I definitely prefer it with the green as the toe cleavage is important with this. It looks really cool. I could also wear something more colorful in terms of makeup or a bag if I wanted to. These are not as soft in the toes, uh, not like the Bottega, but they're really sturdy anyway and the heel is high but it is a triangular and it's really stable so it also works for me when I uh, wear something for a long time so it also works well for me when I go out but of course I have my favorite so Bottega or the other Asiko is like my comfiest favorite because it's just so soft but this looks incredible I always get so many compliments when I do wear it and talking about green heels this was the best combination in this capsule and maybe in my whole summer wardrobe ever I love this dress it is a red but look at this texture it's so like textured with the white it's slightly crinkled stretchy so wearable such a beautiful wearable red color that it's really hard to come across and when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, this could work for me. If it works for me, it could be incredible. And it has slightly wider shoulders what, that I was slightly conscious about because I'm already a little bit wider in this area. But it works beautifully and I already tried it with the same green shoes. And the, the clutch that I'm gonna wear with this is gonna be in a white color. So bright, so fresh, but not too much. I really, really love this combination. The size that I have the dress is size as small. It also, the sizing that only comes in three sizes. And I also loved how it was styled in a lookbook on the website with the sneaker and the sneaker that I have is gonna be the blue one and this way you could style it really casually I think I would take it traveling with me as well as it doesn't seem to take too much room and the color is just so cute and I only have a few more items to show you from this haul I saw these on a website in a couple of uh, looks and this is how I like to browse and I thought I really needed them in my summer styling collection so these are brown like gladiator type of wrap sandals they also come in black i picked the brown one as i think it's less contrasting and uh, it's gonna be a lot more wearable for me so this is my first time opening them up i have to try them on to give you my impression The next item is this uh, bodysuit. I saw it on the website when I was browsing for bodysuit specifically as I wanted to have a couple of more of them uh, as I tend to wear them quite a bit and I love uh, how easy they are with any denim and specifically I wanted to match it with my Prada skirt and I thought it could work really well. I haven't yet tried it so let's give it a try. <laughs> I don't have many pink items in my wardrobe as you probably know. Might be the first. This has more like lilac magnolia. It's really cold like cool pink. Uh, the cut is really cute. There is a low back 
and um, the high leg which is cute could it double up as a bikini not sure i like the touch the feel of the fabric it's a little bit like suede really really nice and soft and also really wearable color because it's not like too bright it's kind of muted uh, when anything is put on the material that is like stretchy neat wearing it makes it a lot easier to wear the thing i might see it with just my white trousers that i usually wear for the summer and white shirt and my lilac prada bag would also work uh, in this outfit but uh let's try specifically with the skirt that i was looking for so this skirt has an inner slip skirt and the idea was to wear it without like if i would had somewhere really summery and it would be a bitch with it like this was why i wanted to have it as a bodysuit but something different <laughs> to the white bodysuit that i always wear i think this is really cute yeah, it, it works. It works just as I expected. I was like, Anastasia, you are a genius. Genius stylist. And the very last item is the denim shorts. I'm really glad these items finally arrived. So most of these, uh, half of the items was in a shop that was in a country and half of it came from uh, Spain as this is why I prefer to shop online because whenever I come, it just seems that they don't have things that are gonna be great for me. Um, so these denim shorts, they have in a couple of colors. They, there is like a lighter shade of denim there's white, maybe there's dark. I tried like dark denim. It was a pair of black. It just like didn't suit to everything that I had. And then I went to my photo archives and figured out that it was like a medium wash or darker wash of denim that I was wearing constantly because it just works, I guess, with like my hair color. So if you have something colorful, black or white hair, then this part has to be balanced with probably like the tone of your hair. Uh, this is the way to explain it. So if you're a darker skin, maybe a darker um, tone of denim, blacks, uh, if you wear high contrast, but the fair skin girls, like white or lighter skin or lighter wash of the denim would work better. Uh, the idea for styling is to wear it with a t-shirt or tank top in white and my linen cropped blazer. And this would be the way I wanted to wear it. They definitely come a bit tight, so these are 34. Mm, with the jean shorts, denim shorts, they would stretch, I would say. Uh, when I worked at Abercrombie, we would always like get like bigger sizes and then it would stretch. So I would wait probably, although now it seems that it's a little bit too tight for me. Uh, maybe a size up would be good. I think I really prefer my shorts to be less skimpy. So the good rule of thumb is two fingers if the two fingers fit. Yeah, I have two fingers fitting and I'll probably also lose some weight over summer as I'm trying to be a lot more active. But um, if uh, I were to wear it now, probably I would have it in a bigger size. Should I get just two sizes, um, wear them, alternate between them? Maybe that would be the solution. But I like that the color of the denim goes really well with everything that I own. And with the Mary Jane sandal, it would make a really good, kind of like smarter, casual outfit for the summer because it's a closer toe. And at the same time, of course, denim shorts are easy to wear all summer for the beach occasions with your flip-flops or with sneakers, with anything. I hope you guys did love this haul. It would help me a lot if you write me a comment on things that you loved or things that you would like me to review next time and i'm gonna see you in my next one mm -hmm.